What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut Reviews. Today I'm going over Stuber. Now the best way I can describe what Stuber is, it's an action comedy with a hard R rating and it deserves that hard R rating because there is like Deadpool levels of action going on I'm talking about a bunch of blood, faces getting blown off excessive uses of the f-word anyway we start the movie, the movie basically starts off with uh, detective Vic or uh, who's played by Dave Batista who is going after a drug kingpin named uh, if I remember the name correctly and now I'm 90% sure I'm mispronouncing the name Toji who has been selling some sort of heroin so the movie straight off the bat hits you with a bunch of action we're talking uh, Lieutenant Vic and his partner going after Toji and trying to like take out his operation and continuing on I'm not giving anything away all of a sudden the partner gets shot killed you know the classic cliched buddy cop movie type deal and to top everything all off Lieutenant Vic is going in for LASIK so now we have a cop that has a dead partner, has to get eye surgery, and is given time off. Oh, also by the way, he was removed from the original case. So he's no longer going after Toji. Now we have uh, Mira Sorvino who plays um, Dave Batista's superior, who goes by the name Angie McCaffrey. Who we later on down the road find out that she's working with the bad guy. We got the classic detective going after the drug kingpin, cop in the department being paid by the drug kingpin, trying to stop the detective from going after the case. You know, classic cliched action comedy, cop flick. So we go to the fact that he, uh, that Batista's character has to get LASIK eye surgery. So he's basically blind throughout this whole thing. Oh yeah, he also has a daughter that he mistreats because she is an artist and he's more concerned about his own work. Now without giving away more than what happens, the movie had plenty of comedy, the movie had plenty of action, there were a lot of issues with it as far as uh, continuity and whatnot, mainly with weather shit. But we have Dave Batista, who basically, as I mentioned before, is practically blind at this point. He has a uh, art showcase to go for his daughter, but he has no way of getting there because he can't fucking drive. So his daughter basically tells him, "Oh well, I'm not driving two hours from neighborhood A to neighborhood B in Los Angeles to get and pick you up. Use Uber." Where we run into the other character, Stu. Stu works for Uber, Stuber. Now Stu is played by, I gotta actually look up the name because I'm probably gonna mispronounce it, don't get me wrong here. Kumail Nanjani. Now, he is pretty funny, don't get me wrong. He's a solid actor, Batista's like just up and coming with uh, acting and everything. Don't get me wrong, Batista does great in the, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I will give credit where credit is due. But this was not necessarily a solid role for him. Don't get me wrong, he pulled it off great. But his name, as big as his name is, I'm not saying he's as big as Dwayne or Chris Rock or anything like that, but he could have been in a better film. Same thing could be said for uh, Kumail. But again, story wise, for the most part, it was okay. I honestly thought all the comedy bits were great. I thought the action, the, action, the whole movie kept me entertained and kept me focused on the story and everything and don't get me wrong it was easy to focus on but there were all again the continuity issues because again like you go from like oh yeah the weather's gonna be fine today to all of a sudden it's raining at the end and it looks like the whole thing takes place in an entire day so how are you gonna go from 
oh yeah, the weather's gonna be 90 and clear, to fucking shitstorm. Another little bit of story here that gets included in, uh, Stu has a thing for this girl, Becca, that he's tied in with. And not necessarily tied in with it. It's like that classic nerdy guy into the hot girl, but the hot girl's dating somebody else, gets dumped by the hot and gets dumped by the guy that she's with. So he thinks he's got an opportunity, but it's that classic Well, I'm calling you up, let's you know. But later down the road later down in the movie he kinda comes to terms with whatever was going on and realizes Becca ain't shit. And a lot of times the a lot of times, uh, the girls that are like that ain't shit. Anyway, to close off on this, again, um, solid movie. Uh, the characters could have been done a little bit better. The continuity errors, they could have been nil and void. The movie, I will say, as far as a, an out of ten rating, it calls for at least a 6 out of 10. It had its funny moments. It had a decent story. It could have been a better story. The story could have been done a lot better. And, I mean, honestly, I think it's worth the watch. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video. And I will see you guys in the next video.